Chapter 13 The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, If some of the people notice a swelling or a rash or a shiny patch on their skin that develops into a contagious skin disease, they must be brought to Aaron the priest or to one of his sons. The priest will then examine the affected area of a person's skin. If the hair in the affected area has turned white and appears to be more than skin deep, then it is a contagious skin disease, and the priest must pronounce the person ceremonially unclean. But if the affected area of the skin is white but does not appear to be more than skin deep, and if the hair in the spot has not turned white, the priest will put the infected person in quarantine for seven days. On the seventh day, the priest will make another examination. If the affected area has not changed or spread on the skin, then the priest will put the person in quarantine for seven more days. The priest will examine the skin again on the seventh day. If the affected area has faded and not spread, the priest will pronounce the person ceremonially clean. It was only a temporary rash. So after washing the clothes, the person will be considered free of disease. But if the rash continues to spread after this examination and pronouncement by the priest, the infected person must return to be examined again. If the priest notices that the rash has spread, then he must pronounce this person ceremonially unclean, for it is a contagious skin disease. Anyone who develops a contagious skin disease must go to the priest for an examination. If the priest sees that some hair has turned white and an open sore appears in the affected area, it is clearly a contagious skin disease, and the priest must pronounce that person ceremonially unclean. In such cases, the person need not be quarantined for further observation because it is clear that the skin is defiled by the disease. Now suppose the priest discovers after his examination that a rash has broken out all over someone's skin, covering the body from head to foot. In such cases, the priest must examine the infected person to see if the disease covers the entire body. If it does, he will pronounce the person ceremonially clean because the skin has turned completely white. But if any open sores appear, the infected person will be pronounced ceremonially unclean. The priest must make this pronouncement as soon as he sees an open sore because open sores indicate the presence of a contagious skin disease. However, if the open sores heal and turn white like the rest of the skin, the person must return to the priest. If after another examination, the affected areas have been indeed turned completely white, then the priest will pronounce the person ceremonially clean. If anyone has had a boil on the skin that has started to heal, but a white swelling or a reddish white spot remains in its place, that person must go to the priest to be examined. If the priest finds the disease to be more than skin deep, and if the hair in the affected area has turned white, then the priest must pronounce the person ceremonially unclean. It is a contagious skin disease that has broken out in the boil. But if the priest sees that there is no white hair in the affected area, and if it doesn't appear to be more than skin deep and has faded, then the priest is to put the person in quarantine for seven days. If during that time the affected area spreads on the skin, the priest must pronounce the person ceremonially unclean because it is a contagious skin disease. But if the area grows no larger and does not spread, it is merely the scar from the boil and the priest will pronounce that person ceremonially clean. If anyone has suffered a burn on the skin and the burned area changes color, becoming either a shiny reddish white or white, then the priest must examine it. If the hair in the affected area turns white and the problem appears to be more than skin deep, a contagious skin disease has broken out in the burn. The priest must then pronounce that person ceremonially unclean, for it is clearly a contagious skin disease. But if the priest discovers that there is no white hair in the affected area and the problem appears to be no more than skin deep and has faded, then the priest is to put the infected person in quarantine for seven days. If at the end of that time the affected area has spread on the skin, the priest must pronounce that person ceremonially unclean, for it is clearly a contagious skin disease. But if the affected area has not moved or spread on the skin and has faded, it is simply a scar from the burn. The priest must then pronounce the person ceremonially clean. 
If anyone, whether a man or woman, has an open sore on the head or chin, the priest must examine the infection. If it appears to be more than skin deep and fine yellow hair is found in the affected area, the priest must pronounce the infected person ceremonially unclean. The infection is a contagious skin disease of the head or chin. However, if the priest's examination reveals that the infection is only skin deep and there is no black hair in the affected area, then he must put the person in quarantine for seven days. If at the end of that time the affected area has not spread and no yellow hair has appeared, and if the infection does not appear to be more than skin deep, the infected person must shave off all hair except the hair on the affected area. Then the priest must put the person in quarantine for another seven days. He will examine the infection again on the seventh day. If it has not spread and appears to be no more than skin deep, the priest must pronounce that person ceremonially clean. After washing clothes, that person will be clean. But if the infection begins to spread after the person is pronounced clean, the priest must do another examination. If the infection has spread, he must pronounce the infected person ceremonially unclean even without checking for yellow hair. But if it appears that the infection has stopped spreading and black hair has grown in the affected area, then the infection has healed. The priest will then pronounce the infected person ceremonially clean. If anyone, whether a man or a woman, has shiny white patches on the skin, the priest must examine the affected area. If the patch is only a pale white, this is a harmless skin rash and the person is ceremonially clean. If a man loses his hair and his head becomes bald, he is still ceremonially clean. And if he loses hair on his forehead, he simply has a bald forehead, he is still clean. However, if a reddish-white infection appears on the front or the back of his head, this is a contagious skin disease. The priest must examine him, and if he finds swelling around the reddish-white sore, the man is infected with a contagious skin disease and is unclean. The priest must pronounce him ceremonially unclean because of the infection. Those who suffer from any contagious skin disease must tear their clothing and allow their hair to hang loose. Then, as they go from place to place, they must cover their mouth and call out, Unclean! Unclean! As long as the disease lasts, they will be ceremonially unclean and must live in isolation outside the camp. Now, suppose an infectious mildew contaminates some woolen or linen clothing, some woolen or linen fabric, the hide of an animal, or anything made of leather. If the affected area in the clothing, the animal hide, the fabric, or the leather has turned bright green or a reddish color, it is contaminated with an infectious mildew and must be taken to the priest to be examined. After examining the affected spot, the priest will put it away for seven days. On the seventh day, the priest must inspect it again. If the affected area has spread, the material is clearly contaminated by an infectious mildew and is unclean. The priest must burn the linen or wool clothing or the piece of leather because it has been contaminated by an infectious mildew. It must be completely destroyed by fire. But if the priest examines it again and the affected spot has not spread in the clothing, the fabric or the leather, the priest will order the contaminated object to be washed and then isolated for seven more days. Then the priest must inspect the object again. If he sees that the affected area has not changed appearance after being washed, even if it did not spread, the object is defiled. It must be completely burned, whether it is contaminated on the inside or outside. But if the priest sees that the affected area has faded after being washed, he is to cut the spot from the clothing, the fabric, or the leather. If the spot reappears at a later time, however, Mildew is clearly spreading, and the contaminated object must be burned up. But if the spot disappears after the object is washed, it must be washed again, then it will be ceremonially clean. These are the instructions for dealing with infectious mildew in woolen, or linen clothing or fabric, or in anything made of leather. This is how the priest will determine whether these things are ceremonially clean or unclean.